Hello, my name is Kelly Campbell, and today I will be helping Whitcraft Farms understand how display ads can help them to reach their goals of increasing awareness. Here we're going to talk just a little bit about display ads before we go forward. Display ads use images and audio and video uh, in banner ads and rich media to communicate brand messages. I'm sure you have been on the internet and you've seen ads at the top of the websites and on the side of social media. That is a banner ad and that is what we can use to help you create awareness for your brand. Uh, what banner ads do is they help to draw attention and uh, this increases the likelihood that they will engage with the ad and um, and and cause conversion display ads give you the ability to serve the right ads to the right people at the right time the targeted features allow you to uh, put in where you're looking for people to see your ad uh, what kind of person you want to see your ad and it serves up the ad to that person where that person is within the Google Display Network or on social channels like Facebook. If the person has gone to to your website for instance and uh, they've expressed some interest then the ad may follow them around to the next website and remind them that they had had expressed interest in your website and it just it does that for a while and uh, it just keeps you keeps your brand foremost in their thinking so now we're going to talk about the goals that Whitcraft Farms has for the display ad campaign uh, and what you want to do is increase awareness. That is your main goal. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the display ads to um, on Facebook, and we're going to use them with throughout the Google Display Network. And these should help you increase your awareness uh, in this campaign. Display ads for. For our display ads that we're using, we're going to incorporate your website colors to establish like a seamless online viewing experience for the user. Uh, the logo, the fonts, the colors, as you can see, are presented here. And they're the same colors that you have on your website. The ad theme will focus uh, on the idea that Whitcraft Farms is an option for everyone who wants to have a green thumb. So it will be um, get your green thumb at Whitcraft Farms. All are welcome. Beginners, advanced gardeners, skills or no skills. We can help you to achieve the goal of having a green thumb. Uh, we have about four personas that we're going to be um, targeting in the campaign. The first one is a male, age 40, and we're going to call him Johnny Gardner. And he is an avid gardener. He likes his lawn to look good. He has a garden, and he likes to get his tips from blogs that he reads. So that'll be our first first person we're targeting. The next person is a young woman, age 35, and she doesn't have a lot of time. She makes she likes to make her decisions quickly. She's online a lot and she likes to go to so on social media and email. She understands the digital world and she um, just wants her her lawn to look nice. So, she is a beginner or a novice. But she will be uh, our next persona. And then the next one is, um, we're going to call her Daisy Green because she is an older lady. She's retired and she does gardening every day as a hobby. And she um, she's an emotional buyer. She likes to make contact with the person that she's buying. She likes to make build relationships. She's on social media some and she understands the internet she and she gets her emails and she um, reads on social media 
The next one is Lisa Young, we'll call her. She is about 28. She's single. She's just learning, just coming into the gardening. She's a beginner. She just wants to have a few plants around to um, liven up her, her surroundings. And she doesn't have a lot of disposable income, but we want her to understand that Whitcraft Farms can help her reach her goals as well. Our ad theme, like I said, is get your green thumb at Woodcraft Farms. And our call to action will be to uh, like our Facebook page because we want to create some awareness using social media. And Facebook is where most of these people uh, like to go. Uh, we are also going to be sending out a monthly newsletter that will have tips and about gardening and so we want people to sign up for that so we're gonna our next call to action will be get email updates and this is what our Facebook ads will look like uh, we are, we're gonna run two one for the right column you've seen that where we're encouraging encouraging people to like the page and one for the timeline and it's a little bigger it's more in your face and uh, we're also going to use the call to action to like the page you can see down there at the bottom um, you can say this is the official page of the Whitcraft Farms so they know where it's coming from there's a nice picture that shows where it's coming from and your logo um, to help them remember who you are and we're also going to uh, put some display ads in the Google Display Network um, where we are encouraging them to give us their email address and with that email address they can get a um, the newsletter which the initial newsletter will have 25 great gardening tips and um, that is the call to action so they understand that they'll be getting email updates when they give us their email address and the other one is a we want them to go to Facebook and we want them to like our Facebook page so that we can generate some awareness that way we're going to measure the campaign our key performance indicators will be uh, how many Facebook likes we get. We'll be able to see where we started and we'll be monitoring that throughout the whole process to see where we start and where we finish for certain times, for a certain time frame. Um, we're going to monitor the impressions that we get for our display ads in the Google network uh, and we'll see how many um, people compared to how many conversions we get, how many people actually clicked and saw the ad, and then of course the number of clicks which took them to the landing page to see if um, they engaged with the landing page or if they just clicked through to see what was there. Um, the number of email addresses will be a key performance indicator. Help us understand, of course, how many people that we have on our list. And if that increases, then we have been successful. Thank you so much for listening to this presentation. Uh, Woodcraft Farms is a family business. I understand that. And they've existed for many years without the internet and without uh, technology and they've done things the old-fashioned way and uh, but they understand that they cannot compete in today's market without having a website and without doing some advertising so we've put together this campaign and we're hoping that it will first of all help them create some awareness and uh, second of all move us down the lines to um, maybe the next campaign will think more about increasing sales. Um, so thank you for listening and goodbye.